Hi, welcome back. I'm Shining. I'm going to be teaching uh, the basic Egyptian rock sharky circle that I learned from Aisha Azar and that I use in my classes. And then we're going to be doing a little follow the bouncing butt or watch and learn section um, where I use circle to illustrate the music. So it's a little bit different than necessarily like how I would perform on stage. Rather, I'm going to use circle uh, as much as is reasonable in the music to illustrate some of the changes and variations that you can use. So our basic circle starts with, if you think that you have a little box traced around you on the floor, we're going to step out to one corner. So our hips going to come out, and we're going to all the way around and up. So this is a pretty flat circle. It's going to move like this. Our hip bones are going to stay pointing forward for the duration rather than twisting during. So from the forward one more time, comes out and up. From the side, out, up, out, up. And up. If I do it from the other side, out to the left corner, out, circle, and up. So you might notice that my feet tend to pull together when I'm only doing one of these. If I was to keep going and do it continuously, I wouldn't necessarily need to do that. But part of what that is is a preparation. It's coming into the basic posture where the pelvic floor is lifted, the low belly and the low back are together, our spine is nice and long, your collarbones and our shoulders are nice and relaxed, rib cage is settled. Um, so that basic posture works as a home base between movements, as a transition, and also a preparation for the things that we're going to do. Um, so again, to the left, out, and up, and up, out, and up, and one of the things I would like you to think about while doing this is keeping a very long spine. Um, so if we're going to go from the side, if we tend to crunch over, or if we um, let our bellies go, it not only doesn't look as nice, but it ruins the integrity of the movement. When you keep your strings tight, so it's a nice metaphor I like to use with posture, as if you have your little bass board here and your strings, like on a violin or stretch ties, you get a little extra tensioning by stretching up and out of the neck, then we can play beautiful music. If our strings are slack, then we're not going to get any sound. So pull those strings nice and tight. And then when you come out, keep a nice long stretch. When you come forward, that is stretching up and out of the pelvis. And as you go back, the pelvis is stretching away. So you have a nice long spine. So I'm going to put on some music um, and illustrate some of the varieties it can take. Um, I'm going to be using music from Basil Mabayad's Belly Dance and Violin Volume 1, which was manufactured and distributed by Movis Panacean. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. I do not know if this is uh, available anywhere. Um, most of the music I have tends to be pretty old, so, but it's on CD, so good luck. It's probably out there somewhere. We're going to be using track one, which is um, the, the famous Le La Le La Le La song, um, which is a golf song, but it's also really great for inspiring this kind of movement. 